Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Oriental Empire. We empires, empires. We left off last episode, having settled three settlements and enjoying our time so far. Kind of uh, getting the farming going, and we got to start working on our economy because we are poor, as can possibly be. Also, doing some exploring. I'm interested in this encounter over here. Increase our security by making a solemn pact not to attack each other. Well. Fraternal Harmony Pact. I'm okay with that, actually, because I have no interest in conflict at the moment. I feel like I would get my butt kicked if we did that. And that's not something I'm interested in. I gotta remember, you gotta click on the flag, not the not the unit. Alright, let's just keep exploring. While well, this guy heads over here. More mulberries up there. And we got a little bit of money. There's a farm. There's a second farm. Fang. We can definitely do more farms. I really want to save up for that gold mine. Copper pit. Generates 20 income, produces copper for trade. Increased noble happiness by 10%, but the nobles are fine. Are the nobles? Are the nobles are unhappy. Culture score goes up by one. Those mines are definitely very profitable. Yeah, and as I, I'm definitely I definitely think I was wrong about the ooh. Well, if I convert it to farmland, I bet any settlement that controls it or has adjacent territory. So if I convert that to farmland, hmm, I wonder how that works. I'm wondering if converting it to farmland then stacks the extra food on top of it, or if converting it to farmland overwrites what is already there. I don't know. Ooh. Tech. Okay, oh, we finished almost everything, so power is almost done, which is flood control, craft. So a th anything to increase my authority would be good. Culture. Foundry and clear forests. Pottery workshop. Hmm. Well, we, I know we have access to bronze, so let's use that, let's select that one. Thought. 16 to do this one. Culture. Culture. Authority. Increasing my authority, I think, is a good idea. So let's get that one. And let's see. Over here, that's horse domestication. And the calendar, which increases my authority by one. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, let's go for the authority. You must respect my authority. I like that there's jade over here. I want that. Rhinos! There we go. Sweet! Who are you? Bandits. Peasant light spearman times two. Huh. Can my... Can this guy by himself fight those? I'm a little afraid to find out. Alright, let's see. So the farmland's done. Other... What is other... wonder what other activities are. See, these guys are definitely a little... There's a little unrest here. Uh, let's see. Buildings. What is this? Bazaar. Silk Weaver. Produces silk. Granary. We know how... But the, the upkeep is what I'm, I'm worried about. I need to get my income up before I can start taking on any sort of upkeep. Enables overland trade within 12 hexes. Trade multiplier times 2. Produces items for trade. Increased internal trade by 50%. So, thinking... Well, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to splurge on a gold mine before anything else. And I'm going to make sure that we are farming out the wazoo over here. Oh, and looks like we're done over here. Ooh, what is this? Irrigation creates irrigated farms. Rammed earth wall. Seed transplantation. Uh, yeah. Let's go for food production plus 5%. Power. I'm a little afraid about fighting with my general unit because I don't know if it's like some games with a general... Nine-tailed fox. 
Many of the countries claim to have seen a fox with nine tails, a sign of Hedevin's approval. Unrest goes down. Okay. Key increases. That's good. So they're working on the farm. Now that means we're growing, right? I believe so. I'm. I, we got. We only got two farms. Hmm. If I'm gonna build something, I think it's got to be in my, in my capital. Oh, you know what? But I forgot. We're going to bin. What's going on here? My mouse stopped working. Oh, and now it's working again. Well, that was weird. For a second there, I had no, uh, no nothing. Couldn't control anything. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and build that. It's gonna take four turns. Oh, no, it's gonna take 16 turns. Woo! All right, that's an investment. Well, uh, that's my general over here. Oh, it looks like he's got some really good attack, so what if we just, uh... Chasing bandits with nobles. Your noble warriors are much better trained and equipped than bandits or militia. Make short work in battle. Good to know. So we find found our rhinoceri. Move failed. Okay. Can't move onto the mountains. I'm just trying to scout where the mountains lead to. Alright, gotta end the turn. Make sure it's on play here because I want to see what's going on here so they've just moved up to the edge of oh so they're moving into the hex the same they decided to move in the same time I did so what's gonna happen here charge bomb oh they just went right past me I see people falling yeah stabby magoo Looks like we've got some sort of slug. We, we, we got some some axe type weapons, and they got spears. Yes, run, run from your batters. Oh no, well I don't know if this kind of battle will increase my authority. So one unit broken ran, and it looks like the others stayed to fight, and is gonna get his butt kicked. Yeah, stabby stabby. Wait, no, they're st they're, I'm a, I was about to say, wait, 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 this is me, that is them. I was thinking, I was thinking I was them, and that was me, okay. Huzzah! Now, are, how do I lose any men? I mean, it looks like there's some corpses laying around for certain. Ooh, achievement unlocked, Fighta! What was that? Win a battle! Alright, so they ran away. And I completed my movement. Alright, battle report. 20 men versus 132. Men remaining 15. Men remaining 79. Men lost 5. So yeah, 10 to 1. That was just... So I did lose some men. But that's okay. Needs rest. Efficiency of this stack is low due to the recent fighting or events. If you stop moving and fighting for a few turns, it will recover. Okay, so let's, let's let him rest. Uh, while we move up here and we continue our exploration. Can't move there. Alright, and we only tell him to, like, kind of go to the edge. This guy wanted him to rest. Zoom, zoom. Just these little spearmen bopping around. Just want to skirt the mountains and see where everything is. All right, so it definitely looks like strength 16 of 20, efficiency 64%, so it went up a little. Why don't we take a look at Bin again? It said 16 before, didn't it? I could have sworn it said 16. All right, so this place is pretty happy. Fang is completely happy. Consumption and production are the same, so this city won't grow without more food. So let's tell them to keep constructing. Let's put in two more farms. Here, same. Won't won't it won't grow anymore without more food. So let's put in a couple more farms. Let's just do that all around. 
cannot construct more farms than you have population. Okay. I'm aware. That's okay. He needs to rest before killing more bandits. Alright, now let's take a look. Battles won one of one with one authority. Alright, strength is still 16, efficiency is 84%. They maybe maybe he needs uh to actually go back to the town to recoup his men. But I don't think there's many of them left. I think I killed I killed a good number of them. It was 53. So there's about should be about 80 left. Let's take a look at our tech, see where we are on that. Metal working. Alright, cool. Six. Okay. How much money do I have? 500? My income went up a little. I would love to be able to start trading, which means building a bazaar in my capital. How much does that cost me? Uh, that's gonna be here. 500? Okay, we're gonna build that. It'll be done in two turns. A suggestion is time to think about recruiting another settler and starting a new settlement. The most promising land for cultivations are to the east, but spots to the north and south of the river might have uh, access to valuable rivers. Okay. There's a lot of resources up here. Definitely a lot of resources up here. So, like, maybe in this pass here, that would give me access to the mulberries and the jade. There's also rhinoceros up there. So, let's go to Fang. Units. Next one will be available in three turns. Okay. And how are you these days? Efficiency is at 100%, so he's going to attack. They haven't moved yet, so... Move down this way. Let's see what happens. Technology warning. Alright, so craft is open. We did precious metal workings, increased culture by one. And now I think because we might get access to Jade soon. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, I already got it selected. I was like, why won't you let me select you? It's already selected. Come at me, bro. Crest the hill. I only... I'm only down four men, according to that. Well, for strength. I, I think overall I should be fine. Kerplow. Alright. Do, 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 do. Fight, 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 fight. Win, 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 win. Chase, 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 chase. Alright, so let's take a look at that battle report. So I lost two, killed 33. So we're still, we're still rocking the, like, 10 to 1. And we need to get, we're shooting to get over there, so let's move, no, let's, let's, uh, cancel that. Cancel that. And what I can do is kind of try to explore up in here a little bit. Bin, how much longer? Four more turns. Labor shortage. Very little labor available. If you order them to construct farms, buildings, or anything else, there'll be no one to farm and the population will not increase. Hey, give me that back, I was reading. If uh, the figures at the bottom of the screen are blue, then everyone is building and no one is farming. Everyone is building right now. That's okay, though. Because I told them to. Sometimes I wonder what the other is. You're doing other things. Okay. Information would be wonderful. I didn't get very far there. I just want to explore this interior space, if at all possible. You always have at least one and usually more named characters to control, one of which is your faction leader, king, or emperor. You have two ratings that vary over the course of the game, and also age and eventually die. Characters can be used to lead armies or quell unrest in cities, also used to exploit the various opportunities uh, offered by the orange... Okay, so yeah, so you do need a face character on an opportunity to, to use it. So I'm going to move there, and then we're going to... Maybe we'll get... get you know, pop these guys back together, and they'll move around as a, as a unit. But let's go to Feijing, and see if we can't... One, 
one more turn. And we're not going to re recruit the normals. Nobles, that is. Now, uh, buildings, though. One more turn for the bazaar. Right, so thought. We have access to... I Ching, increase culture by one. Oracle Bones, increase authority by one. Yin and Yang culture. Right now I'm thinking the Oracle Bones, so I can get that authority up. Let's go to knowledge, astronomy, authority by one. Uh, prevents any adverse er effects from eclipse or comets. That's probably a good thing, comet sighted. I say nothing's happening, right? Okay, so if I wanted to move you, whoop, 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 nope, not like that. Like there, okay, take one, two, three turns to get there, and then we'll move forward from there. Now, back to my, I lost my orientation. Gotta get it back, it was like this. Now, Still says one. I thought it was going to finish this turn. Yeah, so everybody's working on building that mine right there. Nobody's farming. I got four authority, which is nice. Other activities. I oh, does will it tell me labor? Un oh, other employ other 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 means they're not they're they're doing nothing. It means they're unemployed. So let's go ahead and uh, have them start doing some farming. These guys are working on uh, building, and everybody here is working on building. Okay. Oh, settler. I should definitely send another settler up here. But first, I really want to figure. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll do both. I'll set start setting a settler up there. Oh, there we go. Look at that trader. I just got another achievement, which is probably for trading. Uh, let's see. Connect two of your settlements with a trade route. Nice. So right now, my only expense is my internal buildings, which is the bazaar. So and right now, I'm only making. Seven. So right now it's not produce. It's not really producing much in terms of, of money. But I'm sure that'll get up once I have more goods to trade. Uh, but what I wanted to do was go here, whip out that guy, and then if I click here, I should have access to him, and I should be able to send him up like this way towards the mulberries. All right, two more turns, and we'll be ready. I'm, I'm glad it gives me the warning, because I always forget about that, because it's not like... Does it show this information, like, boom, right on the, up on the screen? So I f did seed transplantation. Road building. That would be nice. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get the rammed earth wall figured out. That way we can start building roads. So what I'm going to do is put these two units together. They'll fight as one. Single column. Single column. And then we'll take out the rest of the bandits. And then we'll go over here and see what that is. Uh, the settlers heading up towards the mulberries. Although I don't know where I want to put them. I'd love access to the jade and the mulberries. Who are you? Who are you? Okay. Now we're, we're better here now. So the, the mine has been constructed. Looks like the... Mountain overlays over the icon just a little bit, which will increase the income. So we're taxes, and we're getting 40 from the gold pit. That helped out a lot. I mean, well, let's let's see here. Hang on a sec. How many turns? How many turns investment is that? Is the question. So it was. Let's see. It was 1,200 to build. Divide that by 40 per day. So that's 30, after 30 turns, I will make back my investment. 
And I do have access to another mine down here, which is cool. And growth rate is 20%, which is nice, now that we're actually farming. Yep, that's okay, stack without orders. These guys are going to move to get... Now I can move them as a stack, I believe. Your army. I've won two battles against pitily little bandits. Yes, I know. The power and success depends on the number of settlements you control. Don't forget to recruit settler units and found more settlements. I shall. So now they're a stack. And we should be good to go. And they're gonna come right at me. At least we're working it we were you know, we're working with more than just the bodyguard now. I was, I was for a second there I thought I was gonna send in the spearmen and just watch them die. Boom. You gonna get in on it? Yeah, we're just gonna watch them. Perish, me beer peasants, perish! You have fertilized the ground for my new settlement. It's nice playing something, play, playing like one of these strategy games that's not just, hey, you're in Europe in, you know, blah, blah, blah century. Which, you know, that genre got boring. You know, it gets boring after a while. You're just like, okay. And we, we, we did the 1400s and the 1500s, 1600s, 1700s, and 1800s, and the 1900s over and over and over and over and over again. Hey, let's go to China! I like that. Alright, so we'll take a look at the... the battle, the post-battle statista... statistics here. See what happened. Phoenix sighted. Oh, cool. Killed 11. Or lost 11, killed 15. I mean, I'm sure most of those were peasants, so... Pfft. And we'll chase- we'll just chase them down. So this is telling me that, like, this valley in here is a great spot. I'm thinking... Th maybe right if I go there, I might be able to get to the mulberries. I can definitely get to the jade, I might be able to get to the copper. Alright, Bin is growing. Population of three now, so I should be able to, yep, I should be able to do that. But right now we have enough food, so I think we're good here. Uh, population 18. Some are unemployed, so let's go ahead and throw down two more farms. Let's do the same thing here, a couple more farms. Let's keep that population growing. Let's do it. Oh, uh, you, you need to keep moving, sir. Up the coastline. All right, and let's uh, zoom out. Looks like it got rid of some of the foliage, so you can see what happened. Chase them down! They, th they don't seem to want to die. Oh! I think they're dead. Jade Workshop. New item unlocked. Jade has always been a special- has had a special place in Eastern culture. The stone is, a uh, said to possess many virtues. For instance, its ability to take an edge but not be sharp is said to represent justice. The flaws within, revealed by its translucidity, represent sincerity. The very hard raw stone can be shaped by abrasive means into a variety of beautiful ornamental and ceremonial objects. Quality objects shaped by master craftsmen are more valuable than gold. I like that. Oh, they're behind me. No, that's where the battle took place. Never mind. Population four. So we're building some new farms over here. Copper pit. That was like 1,200, right? Yeah, but... No, it's 800. Okay. I definitely want to... See, it said 16. Alright, craft. Let's see, what do we got? Bronze making. Foundry, clear forest, pottery workshop. Oh, you know what? It looks like we need... 
you know what I think the, these these side things are is you need to have certain texts unlocked on other trees and that's that's telling me right here following this little line so I need to have this wall unlocked but for now we'll just go bronze making because we got bronze going right now I'm definitely interested in getting that access to that jade and the mulberries So I'm thinking right there is where I want to go, to the north. And I wonder if the trade has increased at all. Nine. So it's gone up a little bit, but we don't have that mine yet. So it is still at... So it went from 16 to 15, so that makes sense. Did I just pass way more turns than I was... that I had noticed, maybe? That's the only thing I'd think of, is I just wasn't paying attention. It was like, eh, n n nothing's happened, and then I passed a ton of turns. Oh, what is this? I thought that was I thought that was saying there was a battle. Manage your money. Managing your finances. Remember that both units and buildings have an upkeep cost, yes. Okay. Okay, here's our encounter. She's not only exquisite, but also gifted in the arts of dressmaking and beauty. If brought to court, she would surely be the fashion leader among the ladies for years to come. I will pay her. So, does that does she appear on the map anywhere? I don't think so. But I'm going to go ahead and send... You know what? No, we're not going to send them back because we're almost... We're about to settle the city. Right there. Growth is pretty pretty low here, but we got another farm coming. Let's do what? Let's add one more over there. Keep these farms coming. Want to make sure the growth rates are nice, and our economy is doing a little better. We have barely produced any units, but battle to the south. Oh, someone else is fighting. That's what was going on. That's uh, none of my concern. Okay, so what we're going to do is, sometimes you need your settlements close together, but a large city can utilize an area 11 hexes across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow! Yeah, that is a lot. So, yeah, let's move there. I like that location strategically a little better, too. I love these tech warnings because I mean, because I always forget. Alrighty, so let's see here. We did authority, authority, oracle bones. Increase culture by two. And list a she. I don't know what a she is. But let's go ahead and grab yin and yang because I thought that was, yeah, yin and yang was over here. And the only thing we have left is horse domestication, so we're going to go ahead and throw that down. And we almost got the walls figured out. The rammed earth walls I am looking forward to because most of my cities so far are undefended. Fang Jing is the only one that does have a palisade around it. Ooh, who is this? You... I don't know who you are. Some blasted... New power encountered. Chew. Alright. Alright. The sticky yellow earth of China can be packed into a frame and uh, repeatedly pounded with a special stick until it becomes extremely hard. There's some technique to this. The real challenge is to organize the thousands of workers needed to create uh, a suitable wall around a large city. Okay, so right here. It said I could put a city there. Oh, son of a bitch, you're in my way, so I'm just going to wait here. And w wait for you to bugger off. So, defenses, I can spend 2,000 ducats. 2,000 China ducats? That's a few. Um, bin. Silk Weaver. You 
You know what? I am just going to double down and say we need another gold pit. That used up most of my money, but it's going to increase my income. Technology warding and roads. That is the next thing on my to-do list. Most definitely. I would love to start laying down some roads. Yep, I'm going to stay right there because Chu over there is kind of in my way. It won't let me throw down a settlement right next to his units. A lot of battles appearing to the south here. It's kind of why I'm glad I, I grabbed this. It looks like there's a path through the mountains, and I want to make sure it was guarded. Uh, Kizau. I'm probably butchering the hell out of that, and I'm probably going to catch hell for, for butchering the hell out of it. But I know I've got some... Uh, so, some viewers over on that side of the world, and they usually are pretty good about correcting me when I bu when I bungle something. I'd love to get that because that's it said the jade was worth more than gold, so. Oh yeah, that's okay. I'd, I'd actually really like to know where you're coming from. I think he's the guy, the power to the south. Yup. Dan Yang. Is there, there's, it doesn't seem like there's a world map. But this map does seem pretty big. It definitely seems like if you scroll too fast, there's some little graphical errors there. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. A fire? Population three? Wasn't that like the entire popul- Oh wow, no, the population was eight is 18 here. Now, if I build buildings like over here, that'll give them stuff to do, right? 600, uh, I don't know. The monastery shrine. Increase the peasant happiness as cultural score by one. Noble happiness. I'm about to say, are, is stuff for the peasants easier to build? Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Send them off to build a shrine. Bin has a population of eight. They're mostly constructing right now. Two more turns there. Feng Jing, two more turns there. Population of 23. I'm enjoying this game so far. I'm enjoying my time with it. It's, uh, the, the audio is pleasant, the visuals are pleasant, the gameplay is, so far, like, co complex in a good way. Let's see, the lists panels on the left of the screen is very useful, you should look at them from time to time, three tabs, okay, I, I've been using them every once in a while, I should look at them more often, though. So this is telling me where I have troops right now, and the only places I have troops are here and there. I, I had a general here. He must have died. It's the only thing I can think of. Roads boost trade. Trades between settlements is generated a good income. You can boost it further by connecting them with a road. How do I do that? I do have the technology to build. No, I'm working on the technology to build roads right now. Six turns. I thought I had it. I don't have it yet. So this next turn, I should have both the Jade Mine and the Gold Mine. That should definitely increase my income and help my growth. Oh, but we are out of time, so let's let's just cycle this turn. Settler in Bin. A settler is now available for recruitment. New disease in Danyang. Outbreak has swept the city, killing many. Ooh. We got a copper pit and a gold pit. Oh, it was copper, not jade. I said I said jade, didn't I? Uh, let's take a look here. So income one hundred. So that's probably my richest settlement now. So Feng Jing, yeah, more richer than up here. But we should have we probably more from. Yeah, trade's definitely going up now. Local specialties, copper. 
So that's what's going where. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I like it's a very simple, very easy to understand breakdown. I like that. Clear land. So I could tell wow, yeah, they could really go out far, can't they? Much farther than I expected. I'm wondering what I think this is maybe the direct access to farmland. So I think when you go for this stuff, it does have to be need to be, either either I need a tech to um actually like utilize it or it definitely needs to be closer. Who's unhappy? Nobles are a little unhappy here. So let's go ahead and build them a pavilion. No, no I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I, there's buildings I'd rather build. Silk Weaver. A thousand. I don't have enough for that. Well, why don't we wait? Uh, getting the Silk Weaver done will mean that I'll have another trade resource that I can move around and about, and that will help my income even more. Gotta spend money to make money. But anyway, we are out of time. Thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying this series, and I will see you all next time.